With its ability to support plant life, the honeybee is an indispensable element for a healthy environment and for sustainable agriculture. Unfortunately, its existence is constantly threatened. The varroa mite is one of its main enemies, a parasite capable of destroying entire colonies. Varroa is kept under control with synthetic substances, which can, however, be detrimental to the environment and the bee's health. The good news is that it is possible to fight Varroa without chemical treatments, breeding resistant queen bees. Varroa was introduced to the Western honeybee from Eastern Asia. It lives in colonies, feeding on both adult bees and the pupae. Some honeybee colonies can develop resistance. One mechanism is that the hive's bees manage to remove the diseased larvae and with them, the parasite. A resistant colony means resistant queen bees because all bees are born from the queen bee. These special queen bees are the treatment-free weapon against Varroa. There are ways to identify resistance traits and to selectively breed resistant queens with methods involving scientists and queen bee breeders who are beekeepers specialized in the production of queens. But are the selection methods really capable of increasing the colony resistance to the parasite? To answer that question, the Your Best project involved a large number of scientists, beekeepers, and queen bee breeders. The project has standardized the method it tested queen selection in 2019 and 2020 with a scientific program conducted in seven different countries, the largest breeding project ever performed in Europe. And the selection worked. In the late season of the study, the hives with varroa-resistant queens had lower parasite infestation than normal colonies. The system works as long as queen bees of local stocks are used. This means we must breed from and use bee populations adapted to the local climate and environment. So we have a strong contribution to chemical-free varroa control. But can a market be capable of spreading these queens? Your best verified there is strong interest in the purchase of resistant queens by beekeepers and a potential supply from the queen bee breeders. There is, however, a limiting factor. The selection of resistant bees is a long and complex task, and it's expensive. Your best, therefore, recommends that beekeepers, breeders, public authorities, and scientists work together to achieve local selection programs with scientific support, market structures that bring together supply and demand, means and incentives that offset the cost of selection. These actions map the way towards a successful market for varroa-resistant bees, which will ultimately result in more sustainable beekeeping. Bees are the pillars that support ecosystems. Let's make them resistant. <laughs>